Hello and welcome back to Elder King. So, we're going to wait a couple of days, let everything calculate, and then we'll decide what we're doing next. So, let's have a look here. Our army levies, we're pretty much a fool. Yeah, we're pretty much a fool for our army. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to declare some more conquests over here. We're going to take Brittle Rock because that's uh, currently in a revolt against Anvil. Seems like a really good idea. Quick declare, quick conquest. We're also going to take some land from Anvil. We're going to declare a war. I assume we have more men. Um, yeah, we have more men. Then we're going to declare an anvil. We're going to declare conquest of anvil itself. There we go. That should be enough to get be getting on with. Let's get all of our men together. Merge all of these guys over here. Um, now these ones. I'm going to pretty much have to disband those 43 because they're dead. Like, they just have no chance. And then the rest can head in here. There we go. Let's see where the armies move. They should fight each other instead of fighting us, which is good. And we'll just kind of merge up. We want to go for Brittle Rock first because they're de they're declaring independence. So we want uh, to make sure that their war does not end like in favor of Anvil, basically. Because otherwise we won't get their land. Oh, discovered abandoned bandit camp in Pell's Gate. We get a lot of money. Yeah, that was a lot of money. Good. That's fantastic. Like all the money we're getting, we can use that to perhaps uh, spiral ourselves into a kingdom soon. Uh, we'll head up to Brittle Rock. The rest who are still coming can come and join us in Brittle Rock. Make sure we have our army. Seems fine. We are craven, but we want warlords, so we're going to continue leading armies as long as we've got uh, winning fights. I have no idea how we get warlord, by the way. Just as a um, aside. Oh, the Colovian states just attacked us. What do they want? Brindle home. They want Brindle home. Um, they can have it. Yep. Uh, there you go. Enjoy. That's ten years of them not attacking us. I know it's not the most exciting way to play CK2, but like, generally fighting wars you're gonna lose is just stupid in CK2. Just give it up. Like really, just give up your land. As you. I should remember that for the tutorial videos. Like, seriously, just give up your land if it's going to be a bad fight. There's no reason to continue. Like, there's no reason to try and fight them off. Try and lose. Because what will happen is your armies will get destroyed. You'll be weak. Therefore, like, the Imperial Eye will attack. Nibbany will attack. Uh, you'll get all of these guys attacking you. Like, just give up your land and um, go, go and get it back later when you're stronger than them. I mean, it's all about getting good CBs, so you can date like, they, they're doing conquest CBs to so take one bit of land from you, you come back with a uh, warlord CB and you take all their land at once. Uh, Vidgus uh, Otis, that's our sister, what do we want to do with her? She's a master monk, what does that even do? Does things, don't entirely know what, uh, if she gets any special stuff for that. Let's marry her off to someone. Uh, Cavalier Count of Ash? That's our nephew. We marry our sister to our nephew? Doesn't seem like a great idea. Wait, is our nephew even our ally? Same dynasty. So we can't call them in any of them to war anyway. Uh, let's send our let's go marry our sister off to someone though. Uh, a Nibane, perhaps, perhaps. Um we could do that. Some more Colovians. Uh, a whole bunch of them. Uh, okay. Jarl of Winterhold. I, know, I recognize that one. That's up here, right? So that guy's controlled by... So, wait a second. Jarl of Winter... I did say Jarl of Winterhold, right? Um, arrange marriage? Wait. Why is it different on that one, then? That, that's a weird thing about this. That's the same person, but if you go to arrange ma marriage, it's different on each one. That's kind of weird. Okay, um, that does say Jarl of Winterhold. Are there two Winterholds? Because that, that's Winterhold up there. But then also down here we've got... Do we have another Winterhold? So it seems like the wrong um, religion as well. Not religion, uh, wrong culture. Uh, let's try to search that out. Uh, find, uh, I guess, title. Winterhold. Yaldum of Winterhold. Up there. Oh. Huh. Yeah, and he is a Nibian. A Nibian. Okay. Fine. 
Uh, absolutely fine. No problems. I guess we will uh, marry him then. That seems fine, right? You're all of Winterhold. It'll be five years, six years. Sorry, I'm trying to remember the, in this mod until we get the actual marriage. But that'll be no, that'll work. Yeah. Uh, yes, go and marry. Right. Siege this down. We'll get our extra four thousand troops in there. They've accepted the the proposal. Good, good, good. Merge up the army. Wait for the defenders to fall. That should give us a hundred percent, I think, because that's his that's all the holdings he holds. Ninety six percent. Want to surrender? We'll enforce our demands. At ninety six, apparently. Fine. Oh, it's because he holds some var land. That's fine. We have taken the barony over here. Brittle Rock is now uh, thoroughly taken. Uh, do we want to give that away? I think we do. Definitely want to give that away. We'll give it away to... Uh, how about high stewardship this time? Um, okay, you can have it. You can have Brittle Rock. There we are. And we'll head down to Anvil. Although we might want to actually kill the winner of this fight. Although I suspect if it's going to be Brittle Rock who wins it, then the it should disappear. No? Okay. Weird. I actually really want the Anvilic Revolt to win there, actually, now that I think about it. If there are, I assume their army would disappear once the land's disappeared, but if their army doesn't disappear, we take this bit of land from Anvil, then what will happen is uh, this um, other bit of land that they would then control, because what we'll do is we'll siege this down, we'll get 100% war score, they will then siege their land down, we'll win our war, their, they will then win their war, they'll change the leader of Anvil, we can declare again, and we can take that land. Anyway. There are those in your realm who worship other gods. Uh, for example, it's known to you that Rajan openly follows the Al Alkosh faith. You sometimes wonder what Adra would think of your association with these people. We are more alike than different, or the heathen delusions do not interest me. I think we'll go heathen delusions do not interest me and we'll get some favor. Because we like favor. Favor is really good. Favor will allow us to create kingdoms. Um, right. Yeah, I suppose a siege. I was thinking we might do other stuff, but sieging seems fine. Definitely not going to conscript merchant ships, though. There's absolutely no reason to do that. We're not against anyone who's actually on a boat. Uh, anything else we really need to worry about? Don't think so. Seems fine. Yep, more sieging. At least it's quicker than uh, the uh, old Warhammer mod used to be. Right. Just gonna keep sieging. My wife retired to the convent for a short while to gather her thoughts and some peace, maybe even the gods. Um, okay, uh, we can break off our love affair. Perfect time to spend time with my lover. Be discreet. Uh, what do we want? Do we want lustful, craven, or do we want deceitful? Um, I think we want lustful. We do lose favor, though. 50% chance of losing f uh, 10 favor. Um... We'll, we'll, we'll try and get Lustful. We got Lustful. Yeah, perfect. That gives us one stewardship, some fertility, same trait, opinion bonuses. And we lose the favor and our lover becomes uh, pregnant, which is fine. It's not great. It's fine, though. It'll do. Right. More people are arriving at our court. My wife is pregnant, but I was away. Oh, it turns out our wife is equally as, um, you know, uh, adulterous as us. Right, let's uh, continue sieging. This was actually a very easy war. I was expecting us to actually have to fight something, but turns out if we just sit here forever, we're going to uh, just win it naturally. Okay. I just noticed there's a really weird bit of um, architecture over there in Kavach. That must be because that uh, was there during one of the, um, like, it must be like during, I guess, Oblivion. There must have been like a large hill that looked something like that. And they just decided to co-opt that into their uh, geography. Uh, our first bastard, yes, is now of age. I assume that's... No, our, our father's first bastard is now of age. Okay, she became a master barbarian. She's actually got fantastic stats. Like, those stats are incredible. She should be in charge of our armies. She is zet... Like, or she should actually be... Uh, like, we should have uh, tried to make our elective thing elect her. Because she is, like, zealous do the Inquisition War. She has 30 Marshal. This is per she's perfect. Um, we can't do anything like... 
I was going to see if we could do something like a uh, legitimizer. I don't think we can. I don't think we can even put her forward to nominate. Uh, no, she's not even on the list of people we could nominate. So, yeah, she's fantastic. Nothing we can do with her. Um, I mean, could we make her on our commander? Ooh, get out of the way, these things. Get out of the way. Commander. Uh, dude. Instead of Reese, could we could make her commander. She definitely has the stats for it. Yeah, perfect. And given that we just started a siege, I'll just stick her in charge instead of Lucius. No, but she can't command our armies, yet she can be a commander. This is a we there are some weird things going on here. Probably due to just switching mods and me not understanding things. That's fine. Generally that's what it's because of. Okay, this definitely says we need three days to complete. Oh, to complete the construction of our siege weapons. But this is just... This is not allowing us to siege. Alright, that's weird, right? This army, how long has it been moving? Like, because it seems to have been moving a while. We just lost some men. This is... This is very weird, what's happening here. Because, should we not be, like, attacking the people who are on the province that we're on? When they're on the enemy side. Okay, weird. Hestra's baby. My little daughter, Felice, is not like other children. She does not scream or cry or even get upset. She observes the world with keen interest. This morning, she burst into bubbling laughter when a cook cut his hand badly. And there was blood everywhere. Animals do not like her and she makes a strange buzzing sound when near other children. Courtiers whisper, Daedra spawn. And the servants have started to avert their eyes and uh, make covert signs to ward off evil. I must uh, fast and pray to the eight, or I will consult my uh, magister. Okay. So, I guess we'll consult our magister, because 50-50, one half is nothing happens. We lose general opinion no matter what, and we get national revolt risk, so we'll see what he says. He examines the child and assures me little Feliz is normal, and the talk of data spawn is utter nonsense. The covenant is clear on this. Oh, well, fantastic. Great. Um, this is a weird war, by the way. We filled the ambition to have a son, Marcus Otis. He's a Nord. Oh, weird. Okay, that's good, I suppose. Um, we'll just keep the name. Alright, now let's, let's try coming back here. Like, our sieges just weren't working. And we still... Oh, now we can bring up Adriana in charge. Yeah, something weird was on happening in Anvil there. A daughter was born to Hestra and an unknowing father named Hestra. Okay. That's our lover. I guess we're the unknown father. I would imagine so. My daughter, Lissa Feliz, is really taken to her nanny. A remarkably talented young woman, learned as any. It is strange, though. I have no idea when this girl showed up or where she came from exactly. She is most impressive. Okay. Oh, I think I figured out what's happening over here, Margate. He actually controls the land. It's the game thinks that we can siege it. Oh... Yeah, but we can't siege it because he's not in the war. Yeah, okay, that's what's happening. We're getting some weird stuff because uh, there's land underneath land there. Okay, I figured it out. Still don't understand why we can't attack this anvil army. Seems awfully uh, suspicious that we can't attack it. Or at least odd. Can we just end the war? No. Okay. I, I don't understand what's going on here at all. Like, from any standpoint now. We kill this army? Um, maybe? Yeah. Okay. A war just ended. That's something that happened. A war ended in Anvil, I think. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, is just go with you here. That I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah, we're now fighting this army, who we're neutral to. That's. Shouldn't happen. I'm gonna accept to surrender. Okay, now we're directly against. Him. Now we're at war against them. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I like to see. We actually got a confirmation of what's happening here. I'm starting to think Ida might fancy me. We'll make a move. That's fine. Good to be the count. And my wife Gerald is pregnant. Okay. Good. Good. Now hold Anvil directly. We have captured this person. 
Perfect. You can see down the land that we've been sitting on top of now. Perfect. That's exactly what's happening. Okay. I'll accept white piece from you. No. Oh, dear. Well, we're going to have to get, like... Oh, we could kill his army over here in Brindleholm. That would do it. We'll just head up there and get that army. I mean, it is in hills, but we do have triple his men and a 30 martial person. Also, it said that um, we had the nanny. Now, is this, this is the devil event, so we should have a new commander we can put in charge. Oh, we can put our wife in charge of armies. She is actually fantastic as well, actually. Um, and instead of Commander Lucius, we could have Turin, I guess? Yeah. We actually have a, a whole bunch of new commanders who are just fantastic at this. Oh, we didn't unappoint what, the one that was in charge. No. I don't even know if it would let you do that. We died? In battle. We just died. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll now play as Eric Otis. Okay. We died on the field of battle. Oh, no, we won't. We won't play as him. I don't... This is... Things are not half... Things that it says are happening are not happening. Okay, Eric Otis we would play as if we were to die right now. We are an expert priest. We hold this new, we hold this new stuff. Our half-brother has died. One of his children is Devil Spawn. Okay. Well, whole bunch of fun stuff happening here with the game just being weird. Um, I guess we... It says that we can appoint her to the army again. That must be... That's not right. Okay. At least we have our armies together. We need to choose a successor. Who do we want our successor to be? Probably our son, but we'll see who people vote for. Pick an ambition. Um, I don't know. Show bravery in battle. Is that one we want to take? Um, maybe. Uh, undertake a pilgrimage. We could definitely actually do that. We're ill and stressed, so we might actually die any second now because we're 58 ill and stressed. Uh, we need to select somebody. Let's select... Um, we either select our son or our nephew. Oh, let's select our nephew, because we'd quite like him to be in charge, actually, if we could. Um, yeah, let's try and select our nephew. Um, okay, child needs an educator. You can be educated by... Perfect, that'll work. Ambition, pilgrimage. Uh, head down here, and let's try, let's see how things go. If we die now, we'll play as our nephew of ash which means that what would happen here is our count of ash would inherit everything in pell's gate but he would he because he's the count of ash and he's inheriting a county he would go underneath king heron of the colovian estates so he would be controlling all of this underneath the colovian estates we could then declare from inside that we could declare a war which would allow us to take over all of this because we could declare a war for us to get the Calabian Estates. Ooh, that was okay, but no, because he, he is no longer the one we're voting for. What is happening here? So this is just like RNG, whether we actually get to carry on or not. Yeah, we'll play as Count Alvar of Ash. Nope, no, now we won't. Uh, now, now we're being declared upon by uh, these guys. Okay. This is fun. I think. Feral Lycanthropes. We'll use our funds from our treasury to try and solve that problem. We gained patience. Okay. Um, we have captured their leader in battle. We can now end this war. Okay. Okay. Well. This seems like an awful point to end the episode, but it is around the right time, so thank you for watching, and next time we'll figure out what is happening in this realm? Also, I'm going to restart the game because something is bugging out. Was bugging out here of this war. It did not like this war at all. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.